And now turning to a story we brought you yesterday. Venomous caterpillars that could be hanging around your backyard. And touching one can cause symptoms like burning, swelling, but some viewers say they've experienced seizures. And that sounded the alarm for quite a few of you on social media. The Night Beats' Tina Shively wanted to answer some of your questions after this st story first aired. She spoke with an expert. We had a lot of interest on uh, social media, and so I guess the question is, is how dangerous are these things? Well, first we want to point out that these actually aren't new species at all. They're not invasive. They've been here for many, many generations. In fact, as you saw just on that graphic there, our Facebook page viewers say that many recall being stung when they are young, and that's because they look cute and fuzzy, and kids think that it's okay to pick them up. Well, it's not. Other times, it's because unsuspecting victims happen to be sitting under the wrong tree. The expert I sat down with today sat down under that same tree that she found this little fuzzy guy under, and she gave me an up-close and personal look at him. Her name is Elizabeth Wizzy Brown, that's her childhood nickname, says short of not sitting under a tree or wearing long sleeves or long pants, you can't really prevent them from getting on you, but here's what you can do if you find one on your skin. Immediately brush it off if you can. And then you can take tape to remove the spines that might be in your skin, wash the area with soap and water, apply a cold pack or ice pack or something to it. And she says most people will get an immediate stinging sensation. And she also says within five minutes, you'll likely have some intense pain. You might get a rash in that area. And then what happens next depends on whether you're allergic to the caterpillar. It can cause more serious problems like headache, nausea, vomiting. Um, sometimes people can go into seizures. It depends on you know how you react. So it sounds pretty bad, but to pull it all into perspective, Brown says while you have to be careful, she's much more concerned about insects like mosquitoes, which can actually transmit some bad diseases.